I've tried to film this video so many times and every time it is not good enough because um, there are no words to tell you how sorry I am. The tweets I made in 2011 were so disgusting and so far from the person I am today. They were racist, they were fat phobic, they were homophobic, there were enabling words in them. I am ashamed, I am disgusted in myself. There is not one person on this planet that hates me more than I do right now. And the pain I know I have caused to so many of you eats me up. To know that I was someone you considered a great friend. And this image of me is now tainted by someone who I don't even recognise myself to have ever been. There are just no words. Sorry doesn't cut it. My emotions getting the better of me doesn't cut it. I am sorry and I hope I hope you can see through my entire time on YouTube that this is not the person I am today. It's not the person I was last year. It's not the person I am. This is the most hurtful thing I could have done to so many of you. And I know it feels very fresh because it's just come out. And you may now see me with that same mindset and those same, same thoughts. And I know those disgusting words and those awful tweets are always going to be associated with, with my name. And I wish I could do something to take that back and to change that, but unfortunately the only thing I can do is to continue bettering myself as I have done over the past 10 years. Since I made those tweets, I have grown from a girl to a woman. I have lived more life. I have experienced more things and I have had better education in these last 10 years than I ever had all the years before those tweets. That younger version of myself has let down everybody in my entire life. My family, my son, my friends, my colleagues, my entire team, everybody that has ever watched and supported me on here. I've let down everybody. There is no um, more humiliating feeling than that. And I just want to say once again, I am sorry. In terms of my next steps, I'm going to be taking a little bit of time offline just to further reflect on everything that's happened and to process um, a situation that I don't think I'm ever really going to be able to forgive myself for. Once again, to the people that I have built this relationship up with here online and I have let down. I'm so sorry and um, I hope to be able to showcase that to you with the growth and the work that has happened over the last decade and that will continue to happen for the rest of my life and I'm very sorry.